Hello, my name's Mrs. Dewardoth and I'm going to be taking your lesson today. Can you have a look at the picture and say what you can see? You can pause the video if you like and tell an adult or you can just tell me. You might be able to see lots of things in this picture. I can see that there are two adult cats and four kittens. Did you see that? So how many cats are there all together? That's right, there are six cats all together. Can I also say that there are four kittens and two adult cats? And how many cats are there all together? That's right, there are six cats all together. So I can say it both ways. I'd like you now to pause the video and find six objects of the same thing. So you might have six pieces of Lego or six pebbles. I've got six counters in this image. Can you find them and put two in one hand and four in the other? Pause the video now. If we think back to our picture of the cats, what does the two represent? That's right, the two represents the two adult cats. And what does the four represent? Yes, the four represents the four kittens. So I have two adult cats and four kittens. How many cats do I have all together? Six, that's right. Now, keeping the two objects in one hand and four in the other, can you swap your hands over? So now I have four kittens and two cats. What does the four represent? Yes, the four represents the four kittens. And what does the two represent? The two adult cats. Do I still have six all together? Yes, I still have six cats all together. So all together, I have six cats. Now you might have seen this part, part, whole model before. I have six cats all together. Two of them are adult cats. Four of them are kittens. What does the six represent? The six represents the six cats. What does the two represent? The two represents the two adult cats. And what does the four represent? That's right, the four represents the four kittens. So I can write an addition equation to go with this. I can write two adult cats plus four kittens is equal to six cats. What does the two represent? Yes, the add end two represents the two adult cats. What does the four represent? The add end four represents the four kittens. And what does the six represent? Yes, six is the sum. It represents how many cats we have all together. So can I also write my equation like this? Six cats is equal to two adult cats plus four kittens. That's right, I can start with the sum or end with the sum. So in my second equation, what does the two represent? The two adult cats, and what does the four represent? The four kittens. Excellent, but we also thought about our picture in a different way, didn't we? We still have six cats, but we said that there were four kittens and two adults. So how would I write this addition equation? That's right, this time I need to start with the four, the add end four. So what does the four represent? The four kittens. So I've got four kittens plus the add end two. And what does that two represent? 
the two cats. And what's my sum? Yes, I have six cats all together. And so can I also write six cats is equal to four kittens plus two adults? Is it OK to say that? So that must mean that two plus four is equal to four plus two. Do you think that that's true? It is. It means because we have the um, because we have the equal symbol, this means that both sides have equal value. We know that two plus four is equal to six, and we know four plus two is equal to six. So two plus four is equal to four plus two. We can also represent the picture using a bar model. What does that two represent? Yeah, the two adult cats and the four, the four kittens. So there were six cats all together. And we could also say there were four kittens and two adult cats. Can you help me complete this stem sentence? M mm is an addend, M mm is an addend, Mm is the sum. Pause the video and have a go. Should we do it together? Two is an addend, four is an addend, six is the sum. You might have said four is an addend, two is an addend, six is the sum. Because we know that those are equal. Two plus four is equal to four plus two. What can you see in this picture? Pause the video and tell an adult all you can tell me. I can see two red hats and three blue hats. What would the addition equation be to go with this image? Did you say it would be two plus three is equal to five. What does the two represent? Yes, the two represents the two red hats. And what does the three represent? Yep, yeah, the three blue hats. And what does the five represent? Yes, the five is how many there are all together. Could we also st start with the five? Could we start with the sum? Yes, so we could say five is equal to two plus three. The sum is five, two is an addend, and three is an addend. So could we also start with the three? Is that okay? Could we say three plus two is equal to five? What does the three represent in this new equation? Yes, the three represents the three blue hats. What does the add end two represent? Yeah, it still represents the two red hats. And what does the five represent? Yes, the five represents how many hats there are all together. So can we also start with the five in this equation? Can we start with the five and say it is equal to three plus two? Yes, we can. Can you help me with this sentence? M mm is an addend. M mm is an addend. M mm is the sum. Which numbers would I put in there? Did you say two is an addend? Three is an addend. Five is the sum. I could also say Three is an addend, two is an addend, five is the sum. So if that's true, if both of the equations represent the image, can I say that two plus three 
is equal to 3 plus 2. I can say that because 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 because both sides, both sides of the equation are equal. They have the same value. Can you have a look at this picture? How many have we got now? You can join in this activity if you like. You can get your objects again. Oh, in the first hand, there are three, aren't there? So you could get your Lego pieces or your pebbles and put three in that hand. How many are in the other hand? That's right, four. So you can do that. You can put three in one hand and four in the other. Can we switch our hands around? Will we still have the same all together? Will our sum still be the same? Absolutely. We have still got three and four. We've just switched them over. We have changed the position of the add ends. So we can make a generalization about what we've learnt today. Can you practice saying it with me? If we change the order of the add ends, the sum remains the same. Should we have another go at that? Are you ready? One, two, three. If we change the order of the add ends, the sum remains the same. I've got a practice activity for you now. So you can do this after you've um, paused the video. Have a look at the picture. What can you see? I can see two blue bags and five yellow bags. Did you see that? What addition equation could you write for this picture? How many different ways can you write your addition equation? Can you remember our generalization? If we change the order of the add ends, the sum remains the same. Absolutely. If you're ready for a bit of a challenge, you might see more than one pair of addition equations in this picture. You can see how many different equations you can write. Don't forget our generalization. If we change the order of the add ends, the sum remains the same. Well done for all your hard work today, everybody. Bye.